Title, Love Beyond Boundaries. A Decade in Captivity for the Sake of Love. The Story of an Indian Girl. In a small, dilapidated room of a humble dwelling, an Indian girl remained confined for ten long years, all for the sake of love. Hidden from the world, her story unfolds in a village in the Indian state of Kerala. Contrary to expectations, her imprisonment was not enforced by anyone nor did it involve any form of violence. This extraordinary tale brings to light the astonishing power of love as it transcends boundaries. It challenges our beliefs by narrating how two individuals, united by an unbreakable bond, chose to spend a decade secluded from the world. Despite residing under the same roof as others, nobody had any inkling that within the confines of a small room, two souls lived their lives in solitude and devotion. Before jumping to conclusions, remember that the girl, in insane she's simply a testament to the depths. Love can drive a person. Yes, one might say love makes you a little crazy. But it's a sentiment that knows no bounds. The story of Ramana and Sajida from the village of Nenmara brings forth the undeniable truth that love knows no age. At 32, Ramana, and at 28, Sajida, their enduring love has stood the test of time. Local police officer Deepak Kumar confirmed, we conducted separate investigations with both of them. Their accounts matched perfectly. They truly love each other, and there's no reason to doubt that. How did the world learn of this extraordinary tale? Ramana disappeared from his parents' house three months ago. Just a few days back, their cover was blown when Ramana's brother spotted him in a nearby village. The traffic police were informed immediately, who then discovered that Ramana had been reported missing by his parents. The village where he was spotted happened to be a mere eight kilometers from his parents' home. The police took Ramana to the station, where he narrated their story. Ramana and Sajida were neighbors who fell deeply in love. Sajida moved to Ramana's parents' house on February 2, 2010. Her family had filed a missing person report, but they had no idea she was right there, living in a small room of Ramana's house. The police had questioned many people during the investigation, including Ramana, a skilled electrician and painter. Ramana often left home for work, but never for too long. His parents were out for work daily. Did Sajida really spend 10 years in those conditions? According to Deepak Kumar, Raman would take food from the kitchen and lock himself in the room with Sajida. He was very particular about her meals. Ramana seemed uncomfortable when anyone approached the room. The room was always locked, even when Ramana was inside. Sajida would use the bathroom during the same time when Ramana's parents were not at home, as their house was quite small. March brought Ramana's disappearance. Deepak Kumar revealed he had gone for painting work. For the last two months, he had been leaving for work daily. When he gathered enough money, both of them left home together. Ramana left his parents' home, keeping the reasons a secret. However, he informed the police that both he and Sajida chose to stay together under those circumstances. What led to their captivity? The police suggest that they were driven by fear, that their families would never approve of their marriage due to their different religious backgrounds. Now, after filing a report for both of their disappearances, the court has freed them. Ramana and Sajida have chosen to remain silent when approached by the media.